Mr. Mukesh is uh, Secretary of Tourism uh, Government of uh, Andhra Pradesh. Uh, welcome. Hello. Uh, I want to know more about uh, what the, what's your plan of uh, 2018. Andhra Pradesh is one of the bigger states in south of India. Uh, and uh, it has got the longest uh, coastline in India, 800, uh, 974 kilometers of coastline. Now, uh, in terms of domestic tourism, we are almost number three in uh, the whole India. But international tourism, tourists is what we are looking forward to. Now, international tourism, there are three possibilities in Andhra Pradesh. One is, as I said, the coastline. Beautiful, 20 beautiful beaches have been identified in the state, which are being developed to make it up to the standard of uh, international tourists. Six of them are in Vishakhapatnam city, which is one of the major cities in Andhra Pradesh. So there the process has begun. So by this year end, uh, we would have developed six tourism destinations in terms of tourism facilities. The next year we will take another 14 of them. Uh, apart from this thing, one major uh, attraction in Andhra Pradesh is Buddhist tourism. Because we have around 380 Buddhist sites all over the state. And out of them, 10 have been identified which are more accessible, where uh, immediate development has been started already existing. So that when we go for a Buddhism circuit, then people can easily, people coming from outside, especially our target is uh, Southeast Asia, Sri Lanka, uh, China and uh, Japan for the Buddhist circuit. Uh, and we want to link it with the Bihar. A lot of people come to Bodh Gaya and Bihar. So if somebody comes to Bodh Gaya, he should, uh, we are trying that we will try to bring them to Andhra Pradesh also. For that, recently we had organized a big Buddhism festival in Andhra Pradesh. Around 2,000 monks we invited from all over the world. Uh, uh, out of them, a lot of people had come from uh, Thailand, uh, then uh, Japan uh, and China also, and Sri Lanka. So that was to create some sort of environment in terms of information about the possibilities of Buddhism tourism in Andhra Pradesh. That was a, a very good response we got. Three days those people were there, they were taken to all the places. Plus, uh, a, a uh, informative uh, discussion had taken place with them. This is the second thing. Third thing which we have been planning in Andhra Pradesh is trying to develop some sort of very unique destinations. We are in touch with the Government of India. We are taking a old battleship from Government of India Navy. Uh, it's a 250 meter long warship which has been now uh, uh, declared uh, uh, not in use by the Navy. That ship we want to place in Vishakhapatnam, develop it into a museum, hotel and a restaurant uh, and a recreation space for the people. That is a very big project for us. Uh, that is one unique thing which we want to develop. Apart from that, in a place called uh, Rajmandri, we have a three kilometer long heritage bridges there, uh, which now we have taken out from the railways. Now we are going to develop in next one, one, one and a half years as a civic recreation and uh, tourist place for the people, not only for uh, the state but other uh, places also. Because that would be the one of the unique projects anywhere in the world where a three kilometer long heritage bridge has been converted, converted into a tourist destination. Uh, apart from this thing, we under river uh, island tourism, we have a 700 acre piece of island in the river Krishna, uh, which is in Vijayawada. And this island, we have made the master planning. Now, two big wellness resorts are going to come up there. Then a tourist plaza would be coming up there. Then we have already got, already got sanction for a sea lion park uh, in, in that place. So another two, three years, a big uh, space would be, would be developed in terms of river tourism. As I uh, realized from some of your press releases, the first seaplane also tested in your some some river in your state, right? Yeah, seaplane also the testing was done in the same place as what I told, Krishna River, Bhavani Island, that place it was tested. We are in touch uh, with uh, SpiceJet because SpiceJet is the company which is going to bring it. And uh, they have uh, said that it will take six to seven months for them to create that because there are no rules as such for uh, running of sea place as of now. The government of India has to make rules. It will take five, six months. After that, we have promised them that we will create sufficient infrastructure for them and locate places where these services can be started.
It's really exciting thing. All the rivers will become the airport. Exactly. You know. Exactly. Tell me something about mice in terms of uh, inbound to, to mice group. Like India is becoming very very interesting destination. What about your state in terms of hosting a big mice event? In terms of mice, uh, uh, Vizag is one place. There at present some facilities of mice are existing, but uh, recently last week in the investor summit, uh, a, a, a foundation has been laid uh, for a mice center, very big mice center along with hotel and other sectors in Vishakhapatnam, and it will be constructed by Lulu Group. So another 24 months or so, India's biggest mice center would be there in Vishakhapatnam. Great. Last question. What are your main countries like important destinations uh, like in Europe who, from where you see really good number of inbound tourists Presently in Andhra Pradesh a large number of people come from UK a large number of people come from France uh, other places we are trying to make our presence felt in terms of uh, giving them information about the possibilities of tourism in Andhra Pradesh Now we are in touch with uh, countries like Kazakhstan, UK and Ukraine and uh, Russia and this year we are going to bring them chartered groups uh, to Vishakhapatnam and the, uh, <coughs> related facilities are being developed there. So uh, this East Europe, UK, France are our target basically. Thank you so much. I'm sure like channel like our media would really help you to expand your business in worldwide. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you.